I want to break down a case study on how I closed three listings from a single 31 second YouTube video without cold calling, door knocking, sending mailers, or running ads. So I'm chasing J Miles, and in this case study training, I'm going to break down how I was able to close three homes that were all listed for sale by owner from a single YouTube video that I didn't spend any money on. So if you are a real estate agent who wants to get more listings from motivated sellers without doing any cold calling, without doing any door knocking or running ads, pay attention, put your phone on silent, close any tabs that might distract you because this could be the most important thing that you read in 2023. So before we get started, I want to show you proof. This is how many leads I was able to generate from that video in a very short amount of time. I was using Wufu to actually capture the leads, which is a free form builder, but we're going to talk about Google forms later. So you can use either one of these, but 37 total entries on this campaign. And this is hundred percent duplicatable with any type of lead. So we've done it with luxury buyers. We've done it with leases and even investors. And it's not just me who's doing this. I want to actually show you Austin here. He put a post in our group where he completely filled out his whiteboard with all of the active listings that he's gotten and the listings that he's pending along with um, the closing dates. So he is rocking and rolling with this, okay? Um, I have I have many other stories like this, and I don't want to bore you with just other people's results because I know that you came here to get the juice. But before we begin, this is for you if you're a licensed real estate agent who would like to get more listings. This is for you if you have or want to have listings. This is for you if you at least have a small following on social media or an email list that you can get leads from. This is for you if you're tired of everyone saying cold calling is the only way to get listings. This is for you if you want to have more appointments instead of being behind a desk or a phone. This is for you if you have at least one testimonial from any client that you've worked with in the past. And this is for you if you want sellers reaching out to you instead of you chasing them. Now, who is this not for? This is not for you if you have no value to offer people. Okay, this is not for you if you expect to get something for nothing. This is not for you if you have zero social media following. Okay, and this can be on any network you just want to at least have somewhat of a following, even if it's just 10 people. Okay, this is not for you if you have no interest in getting a listing. This is not for you if you like the idea of listings, but you're not willing to market them. Okay, and this is not for you. This is definitely not for, for you if you do not answer your phone or emails. So if you're one of those agents, get off of this training right now because this is definitely not for you. Now, I want to let you all in on a little secret, okay? If you're an expert with something of value that can help someone solve a problem and help their life for the better, you don't need to do any of those old school things to get clients, like subscribing to a dialer, spending hours on the phone, using a script, showing up at people's doors to solicit business, or paying a service out there who can guarantee closings and they want to charge you a high split. It's totally doable to get listings, and I'd say anything in the $100,000 to $600,000 range just using a few videos and an email autoresponder. It's also possible, as you saw above, to get these clients without a big audience. I only had less than, I had less than 250 YouTube subscribers when I did this. Austin he didn't have any following really. I mean, he had a small following, but it wasn't even at that 250 mark, okay? So the reason why most agents struggle to even land a listing is twofold. I wanna break down those two things. Number one, they don't have a valuable offer. Now, a valuable offer is an offer that would be truly valuable to a seller, okay? Now, it's also nice if you have something that you can deliver one to many, which means 
it's scalable at that point. It's not just super specific to that one person on that one street in that one house. Um, if you're stuck in one-on-one -on -one calls, cold calls, then you're going to hit a capacity of how many people you can actually talk to. And if you cap your capacity of how many people you can talk to, then you cap your income. If you cap your income, you'll always feel stuck as if you can't sell more than you currently do, which is going to hold you back from getting more listings. Now, I'm going to show you how to create an extremely valuable leveraged offer that that you can schedule 10, 20, 30 new listing appointments without all of the calling. The other thing, number two, is they don't know how to get motivated leads. Okay, some of the most seasoned real estate agents that I work with have the hardest time getting new leads. We call this the yo-yo business. Leads are down, then they go up, then they go back down. But having a real estate license and running a real estate business are two different skill sets. I'll help you fix that so that you can actually get motivated leads in your business. My people tell me this is unlike anything they've ever seen because they never knew that it could be so simple. They never knew they can do this without all the old school traditional BS that they thought that they had to do. So this case study or training will show you how to overcome these two issues and start landing more seller leads like clockwork. This is a way that is automated for you and very valuable to the client. So in case you don't know me, my name is Chasten J. Miles. That's me right there on the left. And I've been a full-time real estate agent since 2013. My specialty is using social media to automate my production and get clients asking me to work with them. So a quick little track record from 2013 to 2017, I was working hard and I ended up building a seven figure real estate business. And in 2017, I actually started teaching other agents my methods and strategies and helping them do the same thing. And now I've expanded my real estate team to over 28 states and over 150 agents. So I also work one-on-one -on -one with a few apprentices to leverage inbound leads through their social media platforms. So this is stuff that I do on a daily basis. My total apprentice earnings are well into the eight figure levels and everybody is out here crushing it while some agents are struggling, okay? Now that that's out of the way, here's a quick timeline on how this went down. I launched this first video, it was a Thursday. That's that yellow star right there. I ended up getting my first leads from it by that Sunday. And they kept coming in all throughout the week to the point where I I took that video down. I, I Well, I didn't take it down, I made it private because I got afraid, I got scared, and I was like, okay, this is for one, working, but two, I don't know if I know how to actually work with them. I don't, I don't know if, you know, I don't want these leads to go to waste, and so I felt like I had to get some back-end systems together, but I ended up, a little over a week later, having my first appointment. So where you see that blue house is, that, that was my first appointment that I ended up getting um, from my for sale by owner lead that I had generated. So that Thursday posted that video to YouTube. Sunday, I received my first lead. Then Monday through Saturday, I received at least two leads a day. Sunday, I got scared, made the video private. And that following week, I had my first listing appointment from a video. And I got all the appointments without a single sales call, just a, a video, a PDF, and some email follow-up. So at the time of writing this, I've duplicated the same process three more times and brought in an additional 15 clients for $112,000 in GCI, not including anyone else who I've worked with through referrals or anything like that. So a six figure a year income stream was created in just a few months that only takes me less than four hours to deliver on right? Like, I mean, going in that appointment, securing the deal, 
and and getting that listing, marketing it, and selling it less than four hours. So in the following steps, I'm going to walk you through exactly what I did to achieve this. So that way you can launch it for yourself and start getting new listings. So let's proceed. Every successful real estate business has these five pillars. Now a real estate business, and, and we're talking about the agency business, is one where the owner is getting paid for them facilitating a real estate transaction. So you're the owner of the business, you're the real estate agent. Now, these five pillars, it breaks down into the who, so that's the ideal client that they can help, the offer, how they help their who, the traffic system, how they get people to see their offer, the conversion system, how they demonstrate their expertise and convert that traffic into appointments, then the delivery system, how they deliver world-class service and experiences for their clients. So you can take a look at any successful real estate business. They all have these five pillars. They may call them something differently. They may break the process down a little different, but they're all these five pillars. And each pillar is built one by one in the sequence listed above. Now, where agents go wrong is they attempt to do this out of order. In fact, I see agents doing this ass backwards all the time. They start building the delivery system first, then they ask where the leads are. If you don't know your who, how will you offer something that they want? Okay, if you don't have an offer, what's the point of generating traffic? And if you don't have traffic, then there's no one to even convert. And so if you don't have clients, then that delivery that you spend so much time on is useless. The sequence is important to understand because it will not work if you execute this out of order. So let's start with number one. Number one is the who. The who is the ideal client, the market, the niche. They all mean the same thing. I often refer to it as the who because it's who you're helping but I'm gonna be using that term interchangeably all throughout this training, but it's essentially who you are helping. This has a bigger impact on your lead generating potential than anything else. You could be the most skilled real estate agent in the world, but it won't matter at all if you don't have the right people to work with. Here's how most agents usually pick their who. They will open up MLS and look for the most expensive parts of town, where they think they'll be able to sell the most expensive properties, or they choose whatever Zillow, Realtor.com, whatever any of the, those websites say that the leads are available at the time, or they pick their whole neighborhood because that's just where they live. And they say, I need to be the neighborhood expert, or they say, I can help everyone and just call it a day. Hey, I'll take whatever I can get, right? Or they sit there and do tons of demographic research, try to figure out these specific clients and end up not getting any. The problem with this broken way of doing this is you end up spreading yourself too thin and not getting any results. You end up with a who that's hard to find. You also make tons of assumptions instead of using real motivation. That's the key. So here's what I do instead. I isolate a motivation that already exists that you're personally able to solve, okay? Number two, then write out who the specific person is who's trying to solve that problem. Then number three, get clear on what they achieve by solving that problem, okay? This is super important. So an example for the offer, the offer that I was the problem, someone wants to sell their house, okay? So the problem that they have is that they wanna sell their house. The who, the who were homeowners who don't want to work with an agent, a AKA FISBOs for sell by owners. And then what do they achieve? They successfully sell their home without an agent so that they get to keep more money in their pocket and they can move on to their next endeavor. All right, I was very clear on what my who was trying to do. 
okay? Not what I can help them do, but what they would do to feel like they've achieved their goal. Do this, do I, do I care if it's a couple in the suburbs with four kids that makes $200,000 a year? Or if they're in my neighborhood or not? No, their age, gender, location, marital status, economic status, educational background, none of that matters to me. And it shouldn't to you because it would be illegal, but none of that matters to me. All that matters is that they have a home to sell, that they are motivated to move, and that they have a problem that they need to solve. So a question to think about is, who do I love helping? And this is to help you get, get down clearer. Who do I love helping? And I'm so confident that I'd be able to help them and I'd be willing to do it at a discount. Think about that. Now, I'm not telling you that you have to work for free or discount your services. This will just help you get crystal clear on your specific who. The simplest way to figure out is to list it all out and describe these clients. What do we call them in real estate? In my, in my study and what I did, I call them FISBOs. Okay, you may call them expires, canceled, um, investors. Who do we call them in the industry? What do they need help with? Why don't they want to work with you? And then why would they want to work with you? List all of that out. If you have current or previous clients, it's useful to even interview them and ask them those questions. The answers they give you will be used to craft your offer. It will be used to create your PDF and it will be used to structure the delivery of your offer. Now we're on number two, the offer. Now that we have clear on who we want to help, it's so much easier to craft an offer that they want, especially if we know that target better than they know themselves. And that's where you want to be. So here's how most agents create valuable content that they think people want. They get an idea for what they think people need. This idea is typically the opposite of what that lead is thinking that they need. They get excited, record a video, they blast it everywhere, then they sit by the phone or their email and wait for the leads to come in. It probably sounds something like this. Here's why you should use a real estate agent to sell your property. We're experts that know exactly what we're doing and we can get you more money. So call me today or visit my website and let me come list your home. Listen. People don't give a shit about the fact that you're a real estate agent. They only care about their life and their life only. So instead, I like to answer the question of what are we getting done together? Here's a bad way of answering that question. We're going to put your house on the market and get it sold quickly for more money. On the flip side, the good way is I'm going to help you sell your house by yourself so you don't have to hire an agent, right? That's what they want. So that's what I want to offer them. That's what I want to help them with. I also make sure my offer is SMART. This is an acronym. So SMART, S stands for specific. Is the result specific? Then measurable. Will you know when you achieve the result? So will my clients, will my leads know when they achieve that result? Is it attainable? So is it reasonable and believable a result for them to achieve? Is it relevant? Is it meaningful and in alignment with their goal? And then timely, can it be achieved in a reasonable time frame? So we take all of that and put it into an offer statement. And this is the framework you want to use. So I'm looking to help blank, who is your who, to achieve whatever outcome they're looking to achieve in a time frame without the thing that they don't want, okay? So what that sounds like, here's an, here's an offer statement for what I did. I'm looking to help homeowners to sell their home fast without hiring a real estate agent, okay? If you did the right steps when choosing your who, then your offer should be easy. Your offer, that offer statement, it should be super easy. We're simply giving our market 
what they told us that they want. How do we know that they want this? Either you can have direct proof. So real estate websites, Facebook marketplace, Craigslist, et cetera, or it's just a common thing in our market. So when we think about proof, I can look on any real estate website that has a for sale by owner section, and I'm going to find proof of people trying to do this. You can go on Facebook marketplace. You'll find proof of people trying to sell their home them, themselves. Okay. There should be little to no guesswork involved with doing this. Let's move on. The traffic system. Number three, traffic means getting people to see your offer. And there are free traffic methods that cost no money to do. And then there are paid methods. Okay. I always start with free traffic methods first before I pay for anything. And so if you're reading this, I'm, I'm going to assume that you at least have a small following via social media or well, and or an email database. Okay. So a database with email addresses in that's where you'll start to get traffic. We're going to be making a video to get people interested to raise their hands. We're not trying to get everyone, just the right people, our who we're trying to get them to raise their hands. Here's actually the video that I posted my offer on, on YouTube. It wasn't the most glamorous video. None of that matters. Okay. And it was just 31 seconds long. Okay. I was quick to the point and I was just trying to deliver what would get them to raise their hand. I'm not going to play the video. I don't want to take up um, more time playing the video and I don't want you to copy the video word for word, but the framework is you want to call out your who. So who this person is, then you're going to insert your offer statement, tell them what you have for them, and then tell them to visit your link or DM you. Okay. You'll have people commenting. You'll have people DMing or just directly going to your link. You'll want to like each comment that someone puts on your video and reply back, tagging them, saying that you're going to be in touch. This gives a little push to the algorithm. And so it's going to get seen by more people. Now, my results, remember, I didn't have a large following. I didn't keep it up for a long time. So I ended up getting 37 views on my video. There were 39 clicks to my link and 30 of those clicks were hot leads since they filled out my form and three of those leads turned into listings that sold. So over $20,000 in revenue from just one video uploaded. Now you're going to want to pay attention to the comments, the questions, the DMS from folks reaching out and the appointments and one-on-one -on -one conversations that you have. If there is a specific problem or reason why they're they're doing this that keeps popping up. So, for instance, for me, there was a specific reason why that most of them were wanting to sell for sell by owner. Then you'll want to do another video overcoming that problem using the same framework. So, for instance, let's just say you thought you knew what what their offer i mean what they needed from you so you crafted an offer statement but when you started dming and having conversations with people you realize that no it seems like most of them have this other issue then you'll want to redo this redo your short video and use that specific problem or that reason why that keeps popping up okay so a few other angles for the video, right? Let's just say you do one using that one offer statement. Well, one of them, you can call out the problem. Okay. Another one, the pain, the pain that they're experiencing. Another one, you can show a testimonial. Um, another one, you can just purely show results. And then you can do one more just talking about the desire that they have. Okay. You don't have to post everything, but if you do another angle that's relevant and useful to your, to your who, then do it, right? If you get that other angle, do it. I literally built my real estate business doing the exact same thing across many different niches of people who I started to work with. Okay. So let's move on. Number four, the no cold call conversion system. One thing leads do not pay the bills clients do 
Conversion is the process of turning that lead into a client. Here's what most agents do to try to convert a lead. They'll either stalk them, they'll show up at their house, they'll run a retargeting Facebook ad and push money behind it. They'll send them to their lender and say, lender, you qualify them. Or they get told, I'm not interested 80% of the time. Or they just put people on a BS email campaign and just hope that they become clients. I used to play this game every day trying to convince people to want to work with me. And not saying that none of this stuff doesn't work, okay? But if you are a licensed real estate agent who has helped at least one person and you have at least a little small following online and you'd like a less stressful way of getting clients, you're going to love how simple this no call conversion system is. There are three steps to this. Number one, get the hand raisers. We get those hand raisers from the traffic system that I showed you above. Then number two, we send them to a qualifying survey. This replaces those cold calls that you have to do that you're talking to unqualified people or people they don't wanna work with you. And then we give them DDP access. This is given to people who are qualified and interested. Okay, DDP stands for Digestible Downloadable Product. The hand raiser, we covered that in the last section. For that, you'll have interested people and they're gonna get access to your offer by completing a short survey form from Google Forms. I use Wufu, I now use Google Forms. This qualifying form, it asks the leads questions to figure out we want to figure out their ideal time frame, their previous experience doing this, and then their contact info, including address and phone number. I don't want folks who are not willing to provide all the information requested. This is what disqualifies the bad leads. So here are two questions that I used in my form. How quickly are you wanting to sell? So this is us getting their ideal time frame, and then have you ever tried to sell a home before? This is now us getting their previous experience. We do not need to ask them every specific question related to their situation. So all of that, how many bedrooms is your home? How many bathrooms? What's the square footage of your home? Have you done any improvements? That is not relevant for this right now, okay? It's only necessary that we know that they are our ideal who for our offer. Now, once that person has been qualified by completing the whole form, it's time to become valuable to them. And I say become valuable because it shouldn't be expected to do any type of hard selling or anything like that. The prospect will be convinced that they want to work with you by the end. That's what this whole system does. Send value using Google Docs and PDFs. My preference is PDFs because I like to make them more visually appealing, especially if I am talking about listing a home. I want them to feel like I have professional materials. Now, I'm not going to share my PDF because I don't want a bunch of people copying and pasting it on the internet or anything like that. Um, but if you're on my email list, you've probably seen it already, but I just don't want to put it in this training. But here's the overall framework, okay? It's a title page. And on that title page, you're gonna have their desired results highlighted. Then there is a disclaimer page. Since we're in real estate, this is basically saying, hey, if you already have an agent, I'm not trying to solicit you or anything like that. Um, then a thank you page. So thank you for downloading this. I hope you find it helpful. Then you wanna give them some steps to do, to do before they begin. So with my goal being that they wanna sell a house, I'm giving them steps that they need to have done before they even begin the selling process. Then what to do during, then what to do after they complete it, and then include some quick tips and advice, and then you can have a conclusion page. Do not put on that page an advertisement. That is a mistake. Try it, trust me. It doesn't convert as well. Just have that conclusion page just a thank you for checking this out, best of luck, okay? It doesn't stop there. There's still more value to provide. So the magic though is not this DDP that we're providing them. So you're gonna get probably around 50% trust 
with you because of the value that you put in that DDP, but the other 50% comes from the follow-up emails, okay? If you did these steps correctly, they will be waiting by the computer for your next email just because of the value that you gave them for free, right? You're helping them do something that they want to do without you. The email campaign is a 30-day campaign. However, the serious leads, the ones that ended up going to closing, they converted a lot sooner, okay? Now, I won't put the, the words here, the email words here, word for word, but here's the first few emails. Here's the framework that I did. So in that first email, you're going to deliver to them that DDP. So that download, that PDF, that, that Google Doc, okay? Then in the second email, you provide them with a legal document that they can use. So if someone is selling their house, I know that here in Texas, you have to have a disclosure filled out telling what you know about the property. So that was something that I provided them in that second email. In the third email, I explain some of the techniques or strategies that I use and how they can do it too. Hey, I'm just giving it to you so that way you could do it too. This is what I would do. In that fourth email, I invite them to follow me on social media. In the fifth email, I offer to provide a service for free. So the service that I offered to provide them was, hey, do you have a a flyer for your home, I, I wouldn't mind sending it out to my database of clients for free. And I'm not telling them I'm gonna design it. Your offer, you can tell them, hey, I'll design a flyer for you or I'll market an open house for you. But it's something that you're gonna offer to them for free. Then you're gonna check in to see if they've reached their goal, okay? Most people, they're gonna convert a, right around this time. And if they haven't yet, we have another series of emails that um, we send out to them. But from there, you should send over your calendar link to get an appointment set up if they want to talk, okay? If they want to talk more in depth, you're not saying, hey, book a call with me so I can show you how I can sell it. You're saying, hey, book a call with me if you want to discuss anything that I've sent you, right? This is how you're going to officially be getting appointments. From there, we go to the last step. The last step is the delivery system. So at this point, I've identified the who that we're going to be targeting. We've created a smart offer to help them solve the problem that I'm capable of solving. We posted a video to attract those hand raisers, got interested people raising their hands, wanting more details. Then we provided a DDP to the qualified leads then presented value over the course of a month and scheduled appointments. Now it's all about delivering a world-class listing appointment. Notice how we're worrying about the appointment after we've actually gotten it scheduled. That's because we don't want to be creating all this listing appointment materials before actually securing the appointment. I've wasted months in the past creating presentations and CMAs and valuations that I barely got to even use because nobody reached back or it, it just ended up being a waste of time. So now I always set the appointment before delivering that type of stuff. For my listing appointments, I present using four S's, okay? So it's just four S's, storytelling, strategy, social media, and sold. Write those down, storytelling, strategy, social media and sold so storytelling the storytelling is used to build rapport and trust with the client remember facts tell stories sell this is that opportunity for you to make them fall in love with you through your story all right not just telling them what you can do but telling stories then strategy is how i plan to actually get their home sold this includes the pricing putting it on the market, setting all of those expectations. Social media. This is about how I leverage social media and show all the people that they're missing because they're not using someone that actually people go to to find a home. I mean, people are reaching out to us as agents when they're looking for a home. 
then sold is all about the selling process, including the contract to close and what they can expect. The prospect, they also get to see testimonials from others who were in their exact shoes. I believe in showing relevant testimonials. Don't show them testimonials for buyers if they're trying to sell. Show them testimonials of people who were in their exact shoes. Crafting the appointment is simple. You should already know who you're helping, okay? So you should already know what you're gonna be helping your who to achieve. So take out a piece of paper and I want you to write these down. Write down where your who is right now, okay? What position are they in right now? Then write down where they desire to be. What desire do they have? From that three to five steps to go from where they are to where they wanna be. Then three to five mini steps within each of those steps that you're going to cover. That is how you're gonna craft your specific appointments for your seller, for your lead that you got. Here's an example of using the for sale by owners. So right now, their position is they're a homeowner, okay? Their desire is that they wanna sell their home without an agent. So the main steps to get that done, they have to market the home, they have to show the home, they have to negotiate an offer, then they have to facilitate contract to close, all right? Now those many steps, and I didn't break down every single one for every single step, but hopefully you get the idea, those many steps. So to market the home, they need to have open houses, social media ads, do some circle prospecting, a broker's open, yada, 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 okay? Then to show the home, hey, they need to have a lockbox or they need to have a scheduling service. They may need to take off work they may need to do all these extra things, but I'm putting every little mini step, okay? Once I have this fully mapped out, then I write it down in a Google Doc and I go through them at the appointment. The reason why is for the who's that I was targeting, when we go through that appointment and they actually see all the steps involved, they say, hey, I don't have time to do this. I don't have all of the knowledge can you just take this off of my hands? But the entire system comes down to posting on social media, then qualifying the leads, providing value without asking for an appointment or a sale, delivering on your offer, and just repeating that. This gets even better if you have a back-end referral offer behind this to get the leads and clients to send you more business. I constantly receive referrals from people who I haven't even worked with just because of the value that I've provided to them. They may have not used me, but they found me extremely valuable. And so all I have to do now is rinse and repeat the process. This is the exact system I use to get and close three listings from a single 31 second YouTube video. I pack it, I pack the entire blueprint here. So you can use this, go and get listings. You can use YouTube, you can use Instagram or even TikTok. All of the information is here for you to follow. But what I found for most people, the information isn't the problem. It's the implementation of it. So if you're a licensed real estate agent, if you have a social media following, and if you're serious about closing two to three deals every single month consistently, I'd be willing to personally help you implement all of these steps here to make it happen, all right? I did 50 discovery calls in March and I noticed the patterns why most realtors slow down in business while I made triple the income last year. I have a process for anyone looking to close two to three deals consistently every month without Facebook ads, cold calling, or door knocking. I'm actively helping agents achieve this. I don't care about how experienced you are or not experienced you are. As I said, anyone can use this process to start closing two to three deals a month. What I really care about is your attitude. If you want to win, you will. When we spend the next six months together, here's what you can expect. You'll be consistently closing two to three deals no matter where you're at in your business right now or how many deals you're currently closing per month. 
within the first 90 days, you will close at least your first deal with me. Okay, based on my processes. If you don't close your first deal or one additional deal from what I take you through in those 90 days, you don't pay me a dime. If you don't consistently close one to two deals on a monthly basis after six months with me, you'll get a full refund on anything you've paid, okay? However, this is not a coaching or mentorship program. There aren't any modules or hours of videos for you to watch by yourself. This is an apprenticeship. You are the apprentice and I am the leader. With that being said, you are not a student or a client. I'm not here to please or satisfy you. I'm here to make you successful in every way possible, including disciplining you. You will need to follow my instructions and guidance, including sending in your end of day reports daily. For that, you need to be 100% teachable. If you're tripping, I will let you know and provide you with the solution. If you're doing great, I'll also let you know. But if you're not willing to follow instructions or my advice, don't even apply. Don't even apply. If you think you can, I mean, if you don't think you can create wealth by being an ethical person, don't apply. This isn't about no tricks or games or anything like that, right? I want my clients to love me. I want my clients to send me more business. We don't do any bait and switch. Oh, I have a client. I need to come preview your house when you really don't. That's not ethical to me. If you're going to boss, boss around my staff or myself, don't apply. Go run your own business. This is not for you to be the boss. But if you feel like you may qualify, if you feel like you are the right one and you want to take advantage of this and take your business to where you are consistently closing, click the button on this page to schedule an interview. Let's chat and let's get you in so you can become my next apprentice.